Welcome to another edition of Inside Medicine. I'm your host, Doug Geinzer, and we're here in the studio today with Tina Alicia Drago from Silver Summit Health Plan. Uh, if you're new to Inside Medicine, we bring the movers and shakers of healthcare into the studio to talk to us on Thursdays about what's going on in the Las Vegas marketplace, what's happening, things that are uh, expanding in healthcare, the good things that are going on with academic medicine, the expansion of healthcare. And today we're going to talk a little bit about Medicaid expansion, what that means, and we're going to meet one of the newest entrants to the marketplace, Silver State or Silver Summit Health Plan. So, Tina, welcome to the uh, studio. Thank you, Doug. How are you today? I'm doing great. It's a Thursday. Tomorrow will be Friday. It'll exactly. be a lot better then, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, let's let's jump in. So, tell us a little bit about Silver Summit and its launch into Nevada. You guys have been uh, on the streets for the last uh, 18 months, uh, making yes. sure that you got in. Yeah, congratulations on the uh, award of the RFP, and you've got a lot going on. So, tell us a little bit about your market entrance. Well, first of all, we are so excited to have won the RFP. And we, um, Silver Summit is a division of Centene, and Centene is our national program, but we brand locally in every market we're in. So in Nevada, we're Silver Summit. And we are really excited about bringing our high quality of care to our patients, our members, out in the Nevada marketplace. Uh, we've been trying to get into Nevada, so it's, it was tough. And we're excited. There's a lot going there. on. Oh, absolutely. Um, one of the things that we do here at Silver Summit, Silver Summit is that we actually um, bring the best knowledge we have. This is the 29th state that's that, big, 29 that states. So that makes you one of the like, the biggest in the world. Um, or the we are, in the well, US. we are the largest Medicaid provider in the country currently. Wow. And we're excited to bring that high quality and that knowledge from all the other markets to Nevada. So Nevada gets the best of everything. Uh, we get a solid foundation, plus we get to have our own local branding and our own local people running a program specifically to our local community. That's big. And we, we really like that. Um, it, it makes us a little bit different from everybody else. We're not a big branded. We, we don't have a cookie cutter approach. Um, some of the things that we're doing, and I was, I was brought on board locally. I came from an FQHC environment mm -hmm. uh, here locally, and I'm a, I'm a Nevada person. I grew up here. So you know the marketplace. I know the marketplace, right. and I've been serving the marketplace for many years. So by bringing somebody like myself into the leadership of Silver Summit, they're getting firsthand knowledge of what we need here in Nevada. So our programs are designed specifically to meet those needs. That's awesome. Well, we are excited to have you on board. I don't know if you know, but Las Vegas Heels was a huge advocate for the expansion of Medicaid uh, back when the Affordable Care Act rolled out. So we... Uh, well, thank you. I, I, you know, it, it, <laughs> it's you funny. I, I love going back and we lined up the, the CEOs of every hospital mm -hmm. uh, down at Sealy Golf Course and basically did a call out to the governor and said, hey, we need this to happen. And our governor was brave enough, first uh, Republican governor in the U.S., uh, to sign on to Medicaid expansion. and He's definitely a shaker and a mover when it comes to health care. No doubt. And it, it added, what, 300,000 to the ranks? It did. We're up to about 600,000 people are Medicaid recipients. And I have to tell you that that expansion, how it impacted the community, yeah. most of the people in the community prior to that, if they didn't have, they, they flat out just didn't have insurance. Yeah. So if they didn't have insurance, they were the people that were the frequent flyers in the emergency room yeah. or the urgent cares, and they were piling up large bills. But you know, what, what kind of price can you put on health care? Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of like, you know, a bad situation all the way around. Well, it was a scary time for Nevada because we were right in the belly of the recession and all yes. these folks that were uh, laid off yes. all of a sudden went from the unemployed ranks to the uninsured ranks. Uh, and all of a sudden our, 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 our uninsured, volume. Uninsured, yeah. unemployed, bad credit, you know, because it's all a ripple effect of everything. So we yeah. had to do something to stop it. Yeah. And, and health is number one. We've got to take yes. care of our own. And Governor Sandoval was brave enough to step in and do that. And it really helped. In fact, as, an, as a CEO of an FQ, a lot of those expansion patients we saw were single men. Yep. They were men that never had health care pr prior to the expansion. Wow. So they were dealing with a lot of comorbidities, uh, diabetes, yep. hypertension, yep. things like that. And this was, for a lot of them, it was the first time they were receiving really comprehensive health care. Yep. So that's awesome. So Centene comes to the market. You've got a local yes. brand. Tell us about some of the other local brands that are out there, because I like how they, they brand per state. That's unique. Oh, yes. So in uh, Florida, we're the Sunshine um, Health Plan. Yeah. In Ohio, we're the Buckeye. Um, we're Magnolia in Mississippi. Cool. Um, and in California, we're HealthNet. 
So um, we we actually um, merged and bought and took over HealthNet, however you want to sure. you know, phrase it. Sure. Um, HealthNet is now a, a Centene product, and um, it really launched us into being one of the largest okay. in the country. So here you're Silver Summit. Yes, here we're Silver Summit. What made Nevada exciting for Centene? Well, first of all, um, we only have two plans right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, July 1st, we'll have four plans. So that's part of what made Nevada very exciting. Yeah. Also, as part of this RFP that we all participated in, we get to roll out commercial products, and then uh, we'll have a Medicare Advantage. Yeah. So Nevada's big enough to be worth the effort, but not too big that um, it's going to be daunting to launch into right away. Yeah. I mean, you figure um, there's more members in L.A., Medicaid members, than there is in all of Nevada. Oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that puts it into perspective, doesn't so, yeah, it? Yeah. So when you when you put it into perspective like that, it's it's pretty pretty daunting across yeah. the board. Um, I love it because it gives us an opportunity to really hone and look at Nevada individually, which Centene has been all about. They were really excited to make these products specific for Nevada. Yeah. So Las Vegas Heals is a professional organization made up of healthcare providers, professionals, the whole really continuum of care. What do those providers, those physicians, what do they need to know about Silver Summit? Well, most of them have been hearing it, but if you haven't heard about Silver Summit, let me tell you a little bit more. We, first of all, we are um, working with all of our providers at 100% Medicaid rate. Up until that point, that wasn't done. Mm -hmm. The other plans um, simply d you know, negotiated down on the contract. Um, Silver Summit yeah. believes that providers should be paid what so they're worth. So docs are going to get reimbursed adequate rates? Not only They're going to be reimbursed at 100% oh, the rate, no discount. Very nice. And they're also going to be paid in a timely manner. Yeah. And one of the things about Silver Summit that we really pride ourselves on is we approach healthcare as a partnership. So mm -hmm. we partner with our hospitals, we partner with our providers, we partner with our patients. Yeah. And what that means by partnering is... Um, I'll give you an example because one of my areas is claims. If I see uh, a claims, there's a difference between rejected and, and, and uh, denied. Sure. So rejected means it never even made it into our system. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't understand that. And so when they're billing and they're not getting paid, they're not realizing that maybe it's a fault on their end, on their configuration electronically or something. Because okay. we're just, because it's just bouncing back like a wall. Yeah. So what we do is we have a special reporting system to where we monitor that and we go out and we retrain our providers. So on how to submit. On how to submit properly. Yeah. Because if we notice that a provider's claims are being rejected and it's a consistent issue, we'll go, about, go out and retrain. We'll have our IT department talk to their IT department, and we'll make sure that they get the money that they are supposed to get. We're not coming at it from an angle where, well, we never got it properly, so we don't have to pay. That's not how we approach yeah. our, our providers. It's a partnership. That's cool. That's cool. So what else should they expect here in Nevada? I, I, I know a lot of the providers that I'm talking to are excited uh, to see you all enter the marketplace. And so what else should they expect? Um, well, our pre-authorization programs with mm -hmm. the providers, and I'm, sp I'm talking specifically provider talk sure. now. Um, our pre-authorization program for primary care providers is pre pretty easy. Um, we want to keep our primary care providers actually doing the majority of the work. We don't want them to have to refer out and send out. Yes, they should. So yeah. if they can pull labs, if they can do radiology, if they can do procedures, we're not going to put them through all these stumbling blocks to do that. And that makes it easier for the patient too. It does. And we also work with our providers on, on patients getting in. So we have a whole team of people, our, our CSR team, that actually um, is proactive and calls out to the patient and helps them schedule appointments, helps them get into their provider. Um, so we're going to help the provider along and, and the patient get into the doctor. So we're not going to put it on the doctors and the providers to actually be the ones chasing down the patients. We're yeah. going to help them with that. That's we're going to, yeah, it That's is huge. huge. And we're going to, we're going to be working with them on making sure that their panels are full so that they can, and the, that the, patients and members, I keep going back and forth between patients sure. and members, same thing, um, but that they actually get in to see their provider and that they know that there's these benefits and features that the provider can have. Yeah. So we play a conduit here of bringing the two together. We bring the member slash patient to the provider so that the services can be rendered. We also work with the providers um, on their HEDIS measures and their quality standards so that we will be giving them reports. They'll get monthly reports on where they stand with their patient population. Very nice. And one of the things that hasn't been done to date is we will tell our providers who their panel is. 
if you're Dr. ABZ and you have 1,500 of our members, you are, can go into your provider portal and you can see exactly who those members are, where their contact information is, you know, what their previous history is. You can find out everything on them because we want you to take care of those patients. That's we, big. It is big when you consider that over 60,000 people, 10% of the current Medicaid population, hadn't, hasn't even been into their doctor in the last year. Wow. Wow. And so, you know, that's important because whether you've been or haven't been into your doctor is a big deal. You should be getting your annuals minimum. You bet. You bet. So you, you laid out a little bit about what the provider should expect. What are some of Silver Summit's goals in Nevada? You've, we all have those yes. metrics, those goals. Tell us a little bit about uh, Silver Summit's goals. Well, our goals right out of the gate are to provide, um, to improve the health of the community one individual mm -hmm. at a time. And we're mm -hmm. very passionate about the holistic approach that we take to our individuals. So some of our goals are we're going to roll out July 1st with Medicaid. And then January 1st, we're going to bring in our first commercial product called Ambetter. Mm -hmm. And then the following year, we'll bring in our managed Medicare program. Yeah. So we're looking at growing um, our programs and our support for the community and making them seamless between them. Um, what most people don't know is that the average Medicaid recipient is only on Medicaid for 10 months. Hmm. And in that 10 I months, that. they usually yeah. will graduate to a commercial product or an exchange product. Okay. We want to make that seamless. We want to make it seamless with the providers. We want to make it seamless for the patient and the member. Yeah. So th these are some of the goals that we have for the community. We also want to increase. We want to raise the bar on what uh, patients and members in the community actually think they should be receiving from health care. We don't want it to be a guessing game with them. We're very proactive in what we're doing. And we also like to integrate all of our services. So you can call one number and you can get your administrative, simple, easy questions. You can get um, an appointment to your doctor. You can get behavioral counseling. And you can have it, have it escalated to the um, 24, I, I was just, the nurse wise program. So, sure. so if you do have a question, if you do have a baby at home and they're running a fever and you want to know what you should do, we can escalate that all in the same place. I think we've got a video that kind of brings a lot of this to, to, to realization. Yeah. So Scott, can you go ahead and roll the uh, Juanita video, please? My name is Juanita Tremuel and I'm a home health care worker taking care of the sick, the elderly and the disabled. In 2014, uh, I had got laid off, so uh, I had lost my insurance coverage. So I had to figure out how I was going to get some health insurance. That's when I got Shaquita Patterson phone number. She contacted me because she knew that I had wrote her daughter for insurance, and so she signed up through me. She said that it would be a good fit for me, that the uh, deductible was good and she got got me signed up i told her about a premium and then i explained also about my health pays and the health rewards i said hey why don't you um go get your checkup you know and better pay you for getting checkups and i said well since i got the insurance i'll go get my my annual fiscal but when i went to have the mammogram done they found the breast cancer my right breast. When somebody tells you you have cancer, the first thing that comes to your mind is a death sentence. You know, like, well, I'm going to die. I ain't going to be able to see my kids and grandkids and stuff grow up. So it was a scary feeling. But the surgery went real well. It's well. We think we got all of it. And we did the biopsy and everything. Uh, Cancer free. So that was good news. They caught it in time. And I feel like Ambetter offering those healthy rewards was a lifesaver. It saved my life because I didn't know I had the cancer. It was caught early and, and could afford the surgery and the health insurance. That's why I'm sitting here looking like I hadn't been through anything because of I'm better help. Very touching video. 
Yes. Um, yes. You guys do a great job with that. So come July 1, we're going to have four providers Yep. in the state. Four MCOs. Yeah. So what makes Silver Summit different than the others? What What is that that stands out? Oh, my gosh. Where do we begin? Uh, so one of the things is is that we are the largest Medicaid provider in the country. We have over 11, uh, 11 million members. Wow. And with 11 million members in 29 states or 28 other states, we're the 29th, mm -hmm. uh, we've been able to kind of learn from our previous mistakes. You've got some experience. We have experience. We know best practices. We understand what not to do, what to do. Mm -hmm. And we are always bettering our programs. Mm -hmm. Always. There's never a time where we go, oh, we've got that and we're sitting back. I mean, one of the centine ways, and there's quite a few, but one of them is, is to always improve. I mean, you can never sit back. Everything is a living document. Everything is an improvement to the next step. And that's something that we passionately believe in. So when we come and, and Juanita's story demonstrated a couple things. One, we have a reward program. So we actually, when we partner with our members, we actually reward them. And it's financially. We have a prepaid debit card that they can use at various stores like CVS and Walgreens and Walmart and things like that. That we actually pay them to to partner with us. We give them we give them that um, that incentive because we know that a mother may have to take off, or a father for that fact, may have to take off a couple hours from work to make sure that their kids are immunized or that they have sure. um, their annual sports physicals or wellness exams in place, that they may have to take off time from work to do their screenings, their health care screenings, like, like Juanita's um, you know, mammogram. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that they know that, th that we value their partnering with us. And so we have these reward programs put in place. And you all, you treat the patient holistically or as a whole. 100%. So tell us a little bit more about that. So a few things that we do is we have complete integration of our behavioral and our health care. So we don't look at a person and look at it differently. Our behavioral is built through our health care. There isn't, there isn't two sides of this. Mm -hmm. um, we're also the only um, Medicaid MCO provider in the state that has dental care for adults. That's Every, unique. Everybody has dental care for children, and actually this year it's being carved out and it's going to be handled by the state, and I think they're subcontracting it mm -hmm. out to somebody else. But as far as health care for adults, or oral health care for adults, we're the only one providing that. And let me, let me explain to you why that's so important, because there's two major health disparities when you look at our children in Nevada. One of them is asthma, and I'll come back to that in a second, but the other one is oral hygiene and dental. And why should there be such a health disparity if we're paying if all these children on Medicaid get free service for dental. And the problem is, is that the adults don't get any service. So we're not building an understanding into the family unit structure that says, mom and dad, you go get your teeth cleaned along with your children. This is an important thing. And that everybody should look at oral health care as part of their health program across the board. And um, Centene and Silver Summit have recognized that. We recognize that a parent's more likely to take their children into a dentist if they're getting their health care as well, their oral health care. Sure. And the other one is um, asthma. Asthma is a huge disparity, and one of the things that Silver Summit offers to their members is a second nebulizer for school, because we know that one of the reasons children are out of school, especially during our <coughs> windy, bad health care days, you know, we get those California smoke and all that stuff. Yes, we all know those well. <laughs> um, but you know what? Those are big absentee days in the Clark County and Washoe County school districts, and it's because the children don't have that nebulizer to go to school, they're they're keeping it there, and a lot of and they're expensive, and mm -hmm. the parents don't want to send them with the kid, so they'd rather just keep the kids home. Interesting. So now we have a program set up for those children to actually have a second nebulizer, so they don't miss school as well. That's awesome. Love hearing these stories, and I think we've got another video that kind of brings a lot of this together. So Scott, if you could go ahead and roll uh, "Renewed Hope," please. My husband was diagnosed with ALS. My husband was self-employed. We didn't carry a lot of insurance because we frankly couldn't afford to. When my husband was really debilitating, it was all about him, it, as it should have been. Unfortunately, due to the, the stress impact, I had a heart attack. And that just turned everything upside down for us. He passed away in March. And after that, I didn't really know 
what was going to happen to me. Miraculously, in January, I was able to get on board with coordinated care, and that has changed my life. Since I had a heart attack, they contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in participating in the CAD program, where a health coach would call me once a month. So we reached out to Cindy through one of our customer care reps, and she agreed to the program and got scheduled with me for the initial coaching call. I was put in touch with Amber, my health coach, who, oh, she's been the best cheerleader. We did our initial health coaching call where I get a detailed health history, and then we talk about things that she might want to work on in the future, specifically with the program that she was enrolled in, which was our heart disease program. Every month when we talk, we discuss a different subject, such as blood pressure, cholesterol, weight, exercise, always gives me excellent pointers. Having a heart attack, it's a very overwhelming experience. So what we do is we take small steps and build upon those. So we focus on maybe a tiny nutrition change. When I talk with them the following month, see how they did with that goal and the nutrition change and just build upon that because we want this to become a lifestyle change. And within a year's program, all my numbers were perfect. My cholesterol, my blood pressure, my weight, they were all in range within one year. We asked a couple of questions and I referred her to behavioral health, which was a, a big deal because emotional well-being and physical well-being are very tied in. There's a grayness that lives within you when, you when you're grieving, when you don't feel well. It's a little bit hard to explain. Uh, anybody who's been there knows what I'm talking about. And once that gray lifts, it's like your whole life changes. She told me to turn grief into gratitude. For instance, when I saw something that had belonged to my husband and it, it made me sad, instead of having it make me feel sad, having it make me feel grateful that he was here, that was very healing, a huge healing experience for me. With coordinated care, I can search the website and get all the answers that I need, but I can speak to a real person at any time call them up and they are so friendly and they always make me feel very, very important. <laughs> I feel great. I'm just really anxious to try new things and just get on with living in it. And I think that is really a big part of feeling good. So that's great to hear how you treat the uh, patient as a whole, both Absolutely. bringing in behavioral and physical health. A lot of people don't realize how close those two work together. And so Silver Summit has, we have behavioral and nurses here in Nevada, um, in Las Vegas and in Washoe County, and they are trained and their purpose is to go out and make sure that they're helping our members reach Something, their full yeah, goal. The other uniqueness, uh, the, the video talks about health coaches, and we haven't heard a lot about those. Oh, and that's they're phenomenal. Unique. Yeah, and it seems yeah. like, you know, I, I heard that, and then we just talked about the second nebulizer. It seems like you offer a lot of extras uh, that other plans may not offer. Tell us a little bit more about those extras that the, the Silver Summit plan offers. All of our value-added extras are really designed to be that safety net, that support structure under the health um, program. Mm -hmm. So we understand behavioral health, we understand physical health, we understand oral health, but sometimes you need some basics before you can even get to that next step. And we understand that at Silver Summit. It's part of our program. We have great assisted programs. We have peer, you see, we have our peer support specialists there and my strengths. We have a wonderful boys and girls club and it's offered in some of the other programs here in the state, but we also took it one step farther and we work with the YMCA. We work with the North Las Vegas community centers. So we don't just do boys and girls club. We, the whole point of the boys and girls club was to get the kids active, to get them in a safe environment after school, to make sure that they have programs to where they're getting their homework done and, and they're getting that nutrition uh, information and that respect information. So 
Boys and Girls Clubs does a phenomenal job, but it's not everywhere in the city. So the YMCA's fill in, the, the community centers fill in, and that's important. We also have a Weight Watchers program. Sometimes you need to have those support structures and that network. It's one thing to tell somebody, well, your BMI is 30 and you need to lose 10 pounds. I mean, and, and there isn't a provider out there who hasn't mentioned that to somebody or other, right? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, is if that provider could say, listen, I think we should sign you up because you meet the criteria, I think we should sign you up for a Weight Watchers program so you have a support network in your community that will help you get over that hurdle and get you onto healthy lifestyle habits. That's the extra that that patient needs. Because we've all been sitting in that chair when the doctor tells us something, we kind of glaze over Mm -hmm. and we don't really know. We're like, yeah, well, yeah, I'd do that if I knew how to do it or I'd do that if I had the abilities to do it. And we at Silver Summit know that sometimes it's just that little bit extra, that little help up that will actually make the difference in them being a compliant patient versus being lost. Yeah. So the delivery of all these programs, Mm -hmm. all this unique service, it's going to require a lot of people. Yes, it is. And all of this comes online July 1. July 1. 1. Oh, my God. And we have a fantastic team. We are hiring left and right. So um, in the last three months, we've hired 72 people. Wow. I know. That's a lot. (laughs) And we're probably looking in the next six months to hire another 30. Oh, my gosh. And that's between Reno and Las Vegas. Everybody will be in Nevada. That's awesome. And so these are yeah. more healthcare jobs yes. right here right in here. Nevada. Right here in Nevada. That's wonderful. Awesome. Because we all know, and a little plug, healthcare jobs pay better than most other jobs out there. Yes, it's a they great do. industry to get into. Well, and don't be disappointed because one of our largest areas is our call center. And we are training. We have an intense two to three week training program for our call center members. And these are entry level positions that pay well. That mm-hmm. you don't need a lot of experience. Um, you need to be good on the phone and talk. Of course. Um, but these these are also positions that um, anybody can apply for. That's you know? great. So we're going to roll to one last video. But before we do that, folks are going to want to learn where to go to find out more about Silver Summit. Oh, that's easy. So can you let the audience know? And if you want to let the audience yes. know the website, that would be perfect. It is www.silversummithealthplan.com. Uh, check it out. If you want to look for jobs opportunities, you can go to centine.com and look for under the jobs and um, select Nevada. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be everywhere in the country. But uh, centine.com for jobs or silversummithealthplan.com for services and member uh, opportunities and all of our added values. Fantastic. I want to thank you for coming on to the show. Thank it's you. It's been great having you here. Uh, for those of you that uh, want to come back, Inside Medicine broadcasts on Thursday, and you'll see this live uh, on several different streams out there, and you'll see it in the newsletter, Heels Headlines, in about two weeks. Uh, but, let, Scott, let's go ahead and let's close the show by playing the Sunflower video, if we could, please. I must admit that I went into this arrangement screaming and dragging my feet because I told my wife I was way too old to start raising a four-year-old. Within weeks, I wouldn't have had it any other way. My wife being a nurse, she knew that he had some physical problems. She wasn't sure what it was. Jacob has the need for a lot of medical specialists because of his Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. We've watched Jacob lose strength in his legs and his upper body. Uh, He was falling a lot. It got to the point where he was falling more than he was able to walk. And about the third grade, we put him in his first chair. That helps me get around because I can't walk or move myself around without it. There's no one that, that works any harder at being a kid, trying to be a normal kid than Jacob. And I'm pretty proud of him. As the care coordinator, I came to assess Jacob and see what needs they had. He had a lift that they had donated to them, and it was still working, but it broke down a lot. They were manually getting Jacob into the house, cranking on that lift. Cranking. That takes a lot of arm power that I didn't have. The grandfather told me his his shoulder hurt really bad, and my fear was, what if there was a fire? They really didn't share that they needed a new lift. 
but I started investigating to see what we could offer. She came out to the house and looked the situation over and said, well, we're just going to have to see what we can do about that, and she did. <laughs> we were able to utilize a lot of what Sunflower offers to get what they needed. It really put into play what Sunflower can be to people and what it's all about. Without the lift, he could not get out of the house. <laughs> Simple as that. Everything that we're doing for him and what's been done for him has been, that's been the goal, letting him be a boy. And that's my goal for him is let him be a boy. I like what he's doing for me. He's making me my own apartment room. Jacob is a great kid and they're a great family to work with. And, you know, I find that you kind of get that emotional attachment to families that you're helping and, you know, feel for them, the struggles that they have. And you just want to do what you can do to, to make their lives easier. I thank them for helping me with all my stuff that I need and get through life.